what the people are asking is okay we've given you this mixture mm -hmm. how are you going to translate that into improving our debt situation mm -hmm. getting more revenue to build our roads mm -hmm. create jobs get the economy back on track post covid and that is where whatever it is that has been generated that is where attention has to go very final point this yeah. this this first meeting mostly has been about the formation of the government mm -hmm. and the budget i always made the point that the fact that we pass appropriations tonight and hopefully we will, mm -hmm. does not mean that success has been achieved. I mean, since 1993, how many appropriations acts have been passed? Several of them. Yeah. What is most important is how we put this budget to work to deliver value to the Ghanaian people. Because mm -hmm. in the end, when we go back to the Ghanaian people in 2024, we're going to speak to them not about the fact that we won appropriations or we lost this vote. We're going to speak to them about how we managed to impact their lives in these last four years. And I think that at the end of the day, that's where the conversation comes. Speaking of from where he okay. just left off, I, I agree with him that in 2024, we're going to be talking to Ghanaians about what the past mm -hmm. four years mm -hmm. would have been. And that's why for me, I cannot for the life of me understand how the government's, the government's logic mm -hmm. in thinking that citizens who were so impoverished by COVID mm -hmm. just four months and five months ago, six months ago, mm -hmm. two months to the election, and needed to get free water and free electricity. Mm -hmm. Today, the government thinks that they are so well off that they should pay more taxes. No, the government said they are well off. You understand me? And so, for me, I cannot that's understand an That's logic. an interesting logic. Because yeah, I, I think you have to respond to that. I, 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 I mean, and, and so... And because so, what he's saying is that and, and so, you, you thought that man was so poor that you're giving him free water. Yeah, and free and, electricity. And free electricity. And, and no, two see, months later, you, you see, won the elections. You see, you see, now the man should, pay more. should take money from First him. First of all, I think it is good that they raise this point. Because it gives us an opportunity to explain where we are and what we are doing. Mm -hmm. We are not necessarily in the best of places economically. And the finance minister, mm -hmm. um, or the minister who was responsible for finance until a few hours ago when he was dethroned with the sorry, you know, Mr. Freta, read the president's budget and articulated say that there are a number of things that have essentially derailed the progress that we made in the last four years. Mm -hmm. COVID being one, mm -hmm. not the only, COVID mm -hmm. being one. Energy sector issues, financial sector issues. Our own budget rigidities have been part of it. Mm -hmm. Now, we are at a point where we are between the devil and the, is it the dark blue sea or the deep blue Deep blue. Sea? The deep blue sea. <laughs> we have to find a path forward. That may not be the sweetest, but may be the only way forward. And here's what we are faced with. Because of the combination of these challenges that we've had in the last fiscal year, mm -hmm. look at where, what we call the fiscal anchor, what holds the fiscal together, which is the deficit, is sitting now, around 11% at the end of last year. We cannot go any further. We have to bring that back down onto the path of fiscal consolidation. So 11% last year. You've got to bring it to about 9% this year. 7% next year. 5%. That's, that's all very articulate. And then, I, I mean, yeah. if you give me just a few minutes, right. and then by 2020, you are back to a path of fiscal health. Two, why have we had to literally cringe this economy from an average of 6.9% or 7% if you round it off to 0.9% last year? Because the kind of health challenge we are dealing with now requires people to work in shifts. Some can't even go to work. Look at some George and myself sitting here wearing masks talking to you. The world has had to suffer economically because of COVID. But thankfully, we have found vaccines. Mm -hmm. So what we are saying is that when we had no path forward, we had to break the treasury and keep people afloat, protect mm -hmm. lives and livelihoods first. Yes, correct. Today, the first thing we are doing in this recovery path is to vaccinate the population so that the challenge of COVID no longer exists. So they can go to work. So that they can go to work and you can have your economy rebound. Mm -hmm. Bring it back to about 5, 6, 7, 8 uh, percent uh, growth. Now, when that growth is occasioned, once people are getting back to their full steam of operations and are making revenues, you are doing two things. For those that were most badly affected, you are giving them reliefs. So, for example, hospitality, um, uh, you know, some levels of okay, transportation. Okay, I get the point you're making. The okay. argument is that, and that's why there's this rebates, that when you now get back on your feet and you are making money, we, will not we take are it still from you. giving about 30% of that to you because you've suffered. Yes, yes, yes. So keep that. Okay. On the other hand, we're saying that, for example, when it comes to COVID-related expenses, the fiscal impact of COVID, a fiscal impact doesn't mean... Um, the money that was spent. I think initially there was some mm -hmm. confusion about what we meant. Fiscal impact, that is revenue we didn't get and ex new expenses we had to put together, more than 19 billion. Mm -hmm. Moving forward, if we continue to have even 10 billion, 15 billion fiscal impact, we cannot continue to just accommodate it and pile it on what has been happening previously. Our debt to GDP ratio is now somewhere about 76. 
Therefore, so, so why are we taking money from people at the VAT? Can, no, can no, I, no, so, one minute. No, so, he's, he's, he's therefore, mm -hmm. a COVID levy has been introduced. Mm -hmm. In all humility, now listen, let us, moving forward, be able to pay for some of those COVID expenses that are going to keep coming in the medium term. Mm -hmm. and then you have things like sanitation, uh, etc., that have been rolled out. Mm -hmm. So the argument is not that the same guy who was so poor last year, you are saying that after elections charging. No, the argument is that we're getting the economy back on track. With vaccination, so you're saying that the guy, you didn't, you gave the guy free water because COVID had ravaged, he was at home, he couldn't yes. work. Yes. Uh, now we are gradually getting out. Yes. Vaccines are coming. Yes. When we get out, we you start working and then he the is going to then be taxed that. However, yeah. Those institutions that have been identified as being the hardest hit on COVID, yeah. even when they start making money, we will not take the taxes. And that is there. all included in this. But, and by the way, Ghana mm. is not the only country. I think that's one of the points that's gone missing in, uh, in this conversation. I was sharing during my debate how in the U.S. right now, after providing $1.9 trillion relief, they are in the process of considering revenue measures, one of the first most significant since 1993, to be able to start plugging some of the loopholes that are coming into in the U.K., in the UK, they have announced measures to up some taxes in the medium term mm. so that they can begin to uh, close the fiscal gaps that are okay. being occasioned because of COVID. You guys have to go back finally, to the yeah, finally, finally, finally. You have the last uh, word. Finally, you know, so after him is you. <laughs> you, spare me. you spoke about that. Finally, we don't enjoy being in this position. We are the government that is very interested in giving a lot of um, free SHS and rebates and things to people. Mm. But this has been occasioned because of, among other things, an unplanned constraint. Yeah. And we are of the view, in all humility, that if we all rally together, I think the expression that is gradually gaining ground is burden shedding. Mm. That if we all rally together and share the burden, we can quickly get out of this and get back to our base. Get back to it. Okay, that's it. This is a lot of English. But, but, a lot of English for just yeah, that's one very statement. Articulate. But, but, but one statement thought, if you have to summarize that. Still it. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable, the point if I you make, have to summarize that, he says that this man is at home. He's called a Dusser. He's I'm not working. I'm getting all of that. You, he's not working. I'm getting all of that. Now he's going back to it. Okay. The point we must make here is that all of this fine grammar still means that Chai Chiate in Ningo, who thought he was getting free water and free electricity three months into the election, and was told, this is free because Akufuado likes you, the government supports you. No, no, that's and gives, this and is gives free it because you. COVID has kept us home. And, 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 and it was campaigned on. You were not a candidate. I was a candidate. Mm. It was a campaign plank and said, look, Akufado loves you so much. He's giving you this water for free. He's giving you this electricity so re for free. So re-elect him. And to so re-elect him to get more. Now, Chiate, whose business has not come back to normal? But it's going to come not, back. Not yet. Chiate, yes, but as soon as we pass our preparation today, this tax is kicking tomorrow. So tomorrow morning when I go and buy this water, it's going to reflect the, the, the adjustments no, no, are going no, no, to no. be there. That is once, not correct. Let's get that correct. Let's get that clear. Some, some, if I just yeah, if that's not correct, explain. The if you pass measures, it tonight. Re uh -huh. The revenue measures are not in the Appropriations Act. The Appropriation Act is about a 129 billion expenditure only. I see. And then the idea. So when does the revenue measure kick the in? The revenue measures kicks in on the dates that are included in the particular revenue amendment bills. Oh, I see. That's what is being so for the VAT. But we've done for, for the so VAT, what's the date? We've done well, Esla today. We'll have to see the final dates on the floor. Now. We have to see the final, but we've done we now. See the final I, yes. dates I can check are, it. Well, yes, you can check it. But okay, the point is that it. it is not before, the before, before, before the end of this program, I'll check it. The, but, but, but before, before, the VAT is the one that affects all no, of us. No, no, wait, wait, Does yes, the Esla affect all of us? Yes, the petrol. Yes, petrol. Yes. Esla affects all of us. And we've done Esla already. It for for what day? To kick in in what date? Oh, no, I mean, we, 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 we've, we've taken if through... If I just may provide... Kojo, just Kojo, Kojo, Kojo. Uh, you, you've had a lot. I beg you. Some, just some no, factual... Uh, yeah, quickly, please. Yes. Because we have the to... The president will have to assent to the to revenue the bill. bills. We know that. But the bills and came from the president. That is... That no, is no but the assent is important. It doesn't mean it's that... No, procedurally, without... Are you telling me the president is going to delay the... Is the minister for information telling us the president will delay the passing of accent? Yeah, but the president's accent is within a time. No, but I'm saying to you. He doesn't that have to do it today. I'm saying to you that. Why, do you think the president is going to wait for six months before no, he accents? No, no, six months is too long. So he needs to accent within 21 days or something like that. That's what Listen, I'm saying. If you take the order paper for today, yeah. all of the revenue measures, all of the new taxes, mm -hmm. COVID tax, Bola tax, the sanitation tax, mm -hmm. the, the ESLA tax, mm -hmm. are all there. We are considering them today. Yes, yes I know. The fact that is passed today doesn't mean it takes effect. When does it take effect as far as you are concerned? As soon as we pass it in this chamber, it has to be accented by the president. And I'm saying to you, ah, did we not approve Kenoforiata yesterday? Yes. When the presidents were in. That's not a bill. Ah, but bills have been accepted the same day. But the president says he needs that as his revenue measure. The, yes. entire, the entire Appropriations Act. And you see, let's, let's, be, let's not be disingenuous yeah. here. No, we're not the, being disingenuous. Uh, I'm, 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 I'
the appropriations mm -hmm. act that mm -hmm. is going to be passed here is government's expenditure. Correct. That yes. expenditure is being passed on the basis of a certain assumption of revenue. And um, um, yeah. revenue. A revenue. Well, that's true. Yeah. that's true. That's but true. That's true. That's correct. But the revenue component yeah. of it uh -huh. is going to be largely on the back of this, this I, I tax. So the point is making so that the 129 you billion you are looking for yes. is going to be drawn from the revenue. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't tell me that the president is going to generate the access. Principle that it will start somewhere soon. Soon, yeah. We're just so Chiate is still in trouble. We're just stating a matter of fact that it's not tomorrow morning like he puts it. But, That's Chiate, what I'm but even if it's even if it's May, week, if it's May, Chiate is still in trouble. No, I have explained. And, and you know why the second Chiate most important point to bear the wait, 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 wait. You know what? You know what yeah. he tells you. He tells you that. But should Chiate help us to bear the burden of recovery? But Chiate didn't ask you for free water. No, but he didn't ask you. He didn't ask you for free water and free electricity. But you're telling us that some of this taxes. Some of this so taxes, that COVID will not spread. Well, so Chate, that Ghana will have a successful well, well, Chate, 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 Chate did not about free water and electricity. Someone, mm -hmm. And Chate asked me last week when I went home that, ah, was the president speaking English or speaking his native language of, of Akan? When he said, I'm giving you free water, did he mean me but free water? the COVID levy is not about free so water. So it was a loan and now the president no, is coming no, 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 to take no, no. it back with interest? That, that's, what, that's a question. But you see, you see I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. One more point. You said the hospitality industry. Paul, let's be frank with ourselves. We are a country that keeps giving and giving to foreigners. The big hospitality industries in this country, are they owned by Ghanaians? No, say, say that again. Which big hospitality industry? But Ghana Ghanaians tourism board does a lot. Wait. Ghanaians went ah, there. Ghanaians are you talking about the hotels? Yes! How many of the big hotels? Because look, La Palm, the Ribet, La Palm is owned by the Ribet, Go and see La Palm. It's owned by Snit. Go and see La Palm and see the state of La Palm. <laughs> when you're talking about, when you're talking about top hotels hotel in the country. Do you only mean hotels? Well, it's a wider well, range of it's a broader small guest houses. For art the guest houses in Palm Pram. Even Chief. for arts and entertainment, it goes beyond artists and performance. The media is involved. Chief, yeah. And I'm saying to you, that if you want to get a rebate for the proper spectrum, a broader spectrum of Ghanaians, an industry that is largely run mm -hmm. by foreign interests is not where you'll be focusing our rebates on. And you give examples of the US and the UK mm -hmm. and say that they are also looking at tax revenue measures and increasing taxes. One, the UK is not increasing VAT. You are increasing VAT. Secondly, the UK and the US, in, giving, in, in looking to improve revenue collection, have first and foremost given stimulus checks to their citizens. What stimulus checks did you give About to us? 600 now, let us million look, to support let us look, let us look at that countries like Togo. As Togo. a result of the NBSSI Togo. program. Yes, Benin. yes, yes. yes. Not Togo. A lot of money was given to, oh, through the NBSSI. Come on, come on. How, so many, so how many beneficiaries of NBSSI? You look at Parliament. Togo, you look at Togo. Uh -huh. Togo and the yeah. economy. Look at Ivory Coast and the economy. Burkina Faso. Let's look at, the, at, our, at our sub Saharan area. Yeah, some, Republic of Benin. All of, these countries, all of these countries have actually, in some of those instances, given cash grants. Mm -hmm. In addition but to the water, cash grants, we've given about 600 million Ghana cities. To small scale businesses across this country. How many you Ghanaians bring... benefited from but it? But in the countries that you are talking about, in business. the countries that you are you talking see, about, mm -hmm. if you do as a percentage of their citizens, etc., who has the same question? How many? Yeah. No government will say that 100 percent of the population. Well, but you well, demonstrate, you demonstrate as a government <laughs> your commitment to your people by supporting them. Yeah. The question of whether it's enough or not will always come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Sam, we've and seen, if you take the budget, if you take the budget, if you take the budget, as part of our expenditure items, we are actually budgeting that we are going to pay for the vaccines and, and, and cost of operation and, and purchase of the vaccines. Okay? Yeah. And my question here is, if you're doing a lot of borrowing, if you're doing a lot of borrowing on the back, you've just gone on the roadshow, five billion, mm. you're raising all of this money. What are you using this money for that the Ghanaian people have to be taxed in perpetuity? Can I this? The question he, I would he, say, the, question, the, question I would, the, the point I will make, wrapping yeah, wrapping up. Up. <laughs> the point I will make very yeah. simply is this, if you were a government that had empathy and sympathy for the plight of the ordinary Ghanaian and felt the pain of the ordinary Ghanaian and had the milk of human compassion running through your veins. At this point in time, what you'll be looking to do is to kickstart the economy by giving stimulus packages to Ghanaians and that, not by taxing that, them. That's being given. That's not being given. Right now, what Ghanaians are getting is taxation. You got one CD and they are taking 10 CD from you. That's not okay. true. That's, that's not exactly you, you, what's happening. You're going to explain and, and, something. And let me ask you a question. No, no, no. And just, just so that he answers. Yeah. Right. When you gave water, Mm -hmm. The coverage of Ghana water. What is the coverage of Ghana water mm -hmm. in Ghana? How many Ghanaians benefit from Ghana water? And how many Ghanaians had water flowing through their taps over the six What's months? What's the point? The point is not every Ghanaian benefited from your free water policy. Yet every Ghanaian is supposed to pay. But we haven't said Correct. pay for it. And that's the first that, thing that needs to be corrected. Okay. But what, are we, what are we paying for? I did an interview mm -hmm. in which I talked about the fiscal impact. And mm -hmm. the journalist asked me whether that fiscal impact included free water and free electricity. Mm -hmm. I said, yes, of course, it included that. He went on to say... Uh, but you told her it was free. I said, yes, of course, it was free to you. But it wasn't free to the Treasury. The Treasury had to pay for it. Yeah. We did not say that, therefore, the COVID-19 levy, and the uses are outlined in the budget, is there clearly. We didn't say that the COVID-19 levy is to pay for the free water and free electricity. of. Um, um, we have never said that. 
So but for 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 if you take, if you take the budget, if you take the appendix, I'm coming. I'm in coming. there, there if is a line speak, item for paying the free speak, electricity and free water. Let me finish, speak to it. I'm saying so that we have never for? said mm -hmm. that it is for paying for the free water and free electricity. That's incorrect. It is said in the budget. I am so, saying so what, in the you, budget. what is it? It is not in the budget that oh. is it's okay, for so paying for free water and free electricity of 20. So what is that? I'm coming. Please, please let me make the point for your viewers. Because when you interrupt me, they won't hear it. Okay. There's nowhere in this budget that we have said that the COVID-19 levy is for paying for free water and free electricity of 2020. It's not true. It's not in the budget. We haven't said that. I have never said that. We have said that there will be COVID-related expenses moving forward. Mm -hmm. And we have listed those expenses, including vaccines, including things that we have done to support the health sector, including healthcare infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And we have outlined the fact that all of these things, in fact, if you read that paragraph, it talks about what we did in the past. And that doesn't include water and electricity. It says that to sustain all the COVID-related interventions, mm -hmm. including moving forward, if we choose to do some more social um, um, amenities for the people, they will have to be paid for moving forward through some of these revenue measures. By the way, you know the fiscal impact of these revenue measures that we're talking about. It's two billion cities. Mm -hmm. Two billion. Mm -hmm. Out of 129 billion that we are spending. So if somebody comes and decides to make that argument, which in my view, respectfully, is a very populist argument. Oh, they're asking you to pay for the, um, 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 for the free water and free electricity of 2020. It is a very simple way of pushing a certain um, agenda, and it doesn't align with the facts. Chate, as he's talking about, is the one we have to speak to. That Chate, the government is working to um, vaccinate you and everybody else in this Ghanaian population. Those vaccines, we are getting some for free, but we have to pay for some of them that are coming. And that is why you are being asked to support that effort. It's not even the whole amount. Mm. To support by paying a bit of the COVID levy which can support all of these COVID interventions that we are going to make moving forward. Is there a chance that the COVID levy might be removed from the next budget? It is possible. I don't know. The next economic policy has not been put together. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm reading page 225 of the budget. The 2021. 2020 water and electricity. The two, page 225 yeah. of finally, the budget. Finally. Appendix 4A. MDA's yeah. expenditure allocation. Line item 45. Other expenditure. And this is what it is. There's the ESLA transfers. Then there's the COVID-19 related expenditure. Mm -hmm. And then with respect to COVID-19 alleviation program. Water and electricity. And this is the cost. And this is the cost. 2020. 200 no, 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 million Paul, it is Ghana important cities. he mentioned. Is it 2020? 200 2020? million Ghana no, cities. Is it 2020? Allocation for 2021. No, you are talking about paying for it in 2021. Been, no, 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 no. I don't understand. You what, have what been going. Because so this is, this is, yes. Don't we have and, water and, and, and water and electricity. You are going around telling your people. Point. So you are saying that the free <clears> water of 2020 is gone. It's gone. It's not being paid for. The continuation of the free water. And they have been making the point to their supporters that what we've said is that the free water is what you are being paid for. Well, Paul, that's what you're talking about. The Minister for Information has gotten it wrong. Nobody is enjoying free water today. Oh, nobody is enjoying. No, has it not been No, I received my water bill. In fact, and my water bill that no, came for this uh, month. Some category has been taken not, out, but the listen, lowest is still enjoying listen, it. Listen, Paul, that is for electricity. That's lifeline support. That's lifeline, yes. And I'm saying that nobody is enjoying, enjoying water. water. So if you tell me Paul, that this water allocation Paul, of 200 million Paul, is for 2021, Paul, it's, for 2021. Paul, it's not Paul, true he's because there is you nobody the receiving. Budget there is nobody receiving any free water. That is why I put into script program. You should go back and show me whether that allocation is for 2020. Ah, it's not no, for 2020. No, Kojo. It's not for 2020. Kojo, no, so Kojo, let's not mix up. No, 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 let's not mix up. It is clear. Don't let Please. Kojo confuse you. No, no, no. Ah, the point is simple. Kojo, you are not confusing him, but I am confusing him. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. You are not confusing him, but I am confusing him. This budget is for 2021. This budget is for 2020. And it talks about the things that we are going to do. In fact, if you read the paragraph, I will tell you are saying the Kojo, for the... If Total you read the, eradication of COVID. If you read, Paul, the, if you read the budget, you. I don't have my copy here. Mm. The paragraph is, is clear. Give me the paragraph again. No, this Give is, page, this is not the paragraph. This page is an one. appendix. But this is appendix 4A. Can you read the paragraph of, as well? Uh, uh, 4B, sorry. Mm. 4B. 4, uh, 4, no, appendix 4A on page 225. 225. Line item 45. Mm. And I'm saying to you that in this budget, what it says is that the expenditure is all for expenditure government is, is making in yeah. this year's budget. Yeah, yeah. Good. Don't forget that the 2020 budget was passed in 2019. Mm -hmm. So it is not possible for them to have had a cost for the free water in there. What did Kenneth Farah talk about? I'm coming. Could you, for? Could you, could you looking for money at from the, time, the Bank of Ghana, listen, et cetera. At the time, for COVID. For COVID. Listen, yeah. at the time, so, what at the time, for what came for? Wait, was it a supplementary budget? Wait, no, he came Paul, to ask for facility Paul, to bridge Paul, the Paul, zero Paul, financing. The cost of water and electricity mm -hmm. that this government has given. Mm -hmm. If you take the supplementary budget, Kenneth Farah came and took some money from the... Yes, yes. So then why do you say you are paying back But that has not covered the whole cost. Please. It did not 
cover the whole cost. And I'm saying that is part of our deficit for last year. But the mention of water and electricity in there is in 2021. There is no free water. We there is no free water to anybody in 2021. We are receiving bills, exorbitant bills for water. Bills. Yes, listen. I used to get. I used to get. I used to get 300 Ghana cities a month. Where? Be, where I live. Okay. In Accra. Mm -hmm. 300 cities used to be my water standard. Mm -hmm. This month, my bill came. It is 1,200. Maybe, maybe, you're, maybe, your, maybe you're spending more water. Uh, what? Why have I, have I started you have another family water? Member? <laughs> For, where? Do you have Why? a new family member? Well, I don't have an elephant living in my house. It's an elephant a, that will use a lot of water. family members. No, I don't. The bottom line here, Paul, is that the Ghana Water Company has... And I'm not the only one complaining. People are complaining about exorbitant okay. water bills. And the point we you need should to make get here, back to the chamber. Yes, Paul, is yeah. that, listen, in 2021, yeah. nobody is getting free water. So if, there, if there's a line allocation here for water, it is the debt that exists. It is okay. not. We Minister, is there no debt for the water? Cost, the costs that yeah. were incurred in 2020 mm -hmm. are part of the 2020 deficit and the debt numbers that have been okay. put out. But well, you owe Ghana water. We have you have to pay Ghana water. We have also, also now <laughs> explained clearly <laughs> what is happening we in 2021. And then we are paying for it. <laughs> so let's not go there.